Hi, my name is Raymond Boulet. I'm a dairy farmer here in Sabrevois in the Saint-Jean-sur-Richelieu region. On the family farm, we draw three salaries, but we only have 60 kilos in quotas. We have to find ways of increasing production, increasing farm profitability, meant increasing the number of cows in the barn. We had to sacrifice some space that was used for raising animals in order to create additional room for milking cows. Heifers born on the farm are culled, same as males that are sold through a network or at an auction. First, my purchase requirements. When I assess a cow from another producer, its average somatic cell count has to be under 100,000. And it is essential that the cow be staph aureus negative, because I just won't buy a staph aureus positive cow. It absolutely has to be a freshened cow. I don't purchase cows that I have not freshened. As for the lifetime profit index, I look for an LPI that is equal to or greater than the average for the breed. I purchase different types of cows, whether they are first, second, or third calf. Of course, I try to purchase cows that are as young as possible because if you keep buying older cows, the replacement rate remains high and you're always purchasing animals. To minimize health risks on my farm, I purchase animals from other producers who have a biosecurity level that is equal to or stricter than my own. From farms that I have personally visited and where I know animals are properly cared for. The first major disadvantage of not raising my own animals is availability. I have to work very hard to build a network because of certain times of the year it is difficult to procure animals. They can be hard to come by. Another drawback is a risk of diseases. For my part, to try and counter that risk, I ask for health tests from the seller. To succeed without raising animals, you have to know how to manage risk. You have to build a network. That's the cornerstone of success. Building that type of network takes years. You must also know how to negotiate, explain clearly what type of cow you're looking for. An advantage that I consider significant is the fact that when I purchase an animal, as soon as it comes into the barn, that animal starts paying for itself. Contrary to raising stock where I'll have to wait for two years before getting a return on my investment. Normand Brunette, I'm a dairy farmer from the Saint Eugène region in eastern Ontario. I've been in the dairy business for 26 years. The decision of not raising heifers on the farm was taken about 10 years ago. Raising stock was at a point where we had to expand or take another direction. We would have to expand and completely transform the barn layout. I had the opportunity of meeting somebody who was raising heifers, so I decided to sign a custom heifer raising arrangement. I signed a contract with the custom feeder that is renewed every year. It's a one-year contract, and if there are provisions that you want to add or that you want to change, the contract is updated. All heifers between four and six months of age are sent to the custom raiser. The contract provides that all heifers must calve at 24 or 25 months of age, that's it between 23 and 25 months. All the data are entered into the computer so that I know when they are due to calve. A few weeks to a month before I go to pick them up and bring them back here. As for the cost, it's a flat rate, a rate per head per day. I pay for insemination services, but it's the feeder who takes care of heat detection and get them to come into heat. 
Everything that is provided by the custom feeder is spelled out in the contract. That includes supplements, forage, bedding, labor, housing. The custom razor takes care of all that. The only thing really that I take care of is the vaccination. I take care of following up on vaccines. As far as biosecurity is concerned, of course there's a plan in effect where my heifers are grown and there is also a plan here. It's mentioned in the contract that there can't be any ringworms or any diseases when they go there, same thing when they come back. To me, first and foremost, it's someone who has experience, someone who has been doing it his whole life. He has insurance covering his operations and I have my own insurance coverage as well. According to technical data so far, it's worthwhile to send them out to a custom razor compared with a group average. And even though I don't know exactly how it would come out if I raised them myself, comparing custom raising with the average control group, it's worth it. Yes, yes.